Gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Brian Bandis. This is the Married Man, home of the Warrior Husband. Thank you for joining me. Happy Friday. Uh, the interesting thing about the idea of the Warrior Husband is that it sort of turns the idea of a warrior on its head in that in order to win, this isn't about dominating other people. In fact, the way you win as a warrior husband is to start to have the strength to develop some humility. This week we were talking about uh, the Marlboro Man, right? The man with no name from, uh, you know, Clint Eastwood from, from uh, what, the good, bad, and the ugly, okay? Took me a second to get there. And this idea of this stoic rogue type of man and we've all seen them we've had those guys in our life really what it is is that they're closed off emotionally they don't show vulnerability they don't allow you in to truly know them and the vast majority of the time perhaps it's all the time the reason that any of us act that way and I know I've been guilty of it is because we have a fear of being exposed I have weakness I have vulnerability I have imperfection as, as much as I want to be this, uh, this badass in whatever ways I want to be a badass, and you probably do too, I don't want to show the fact that I might be afraid of some things. I'm afraid of risks. I'm afraid of being exposed as a fraud. I'm afraid of, of being found out, right? I'm afraid that uh, the other guys aren't going to respect me. I'm afraid that I can't handle the challenges of a situation, uh, whatever they may be. And so... For fear of that exposure, I put these walls up, and on the outside of the walls, I show this stoic, sort of untouchable guy, right? It's the man with the, no name, Clint Eastwood from those movies. If you haven't seen Good, the Good, Bad, and the Ugly, you need to go watch it because it's awesome. But you'll see this guy, and he's the, he's the quintessential cowboy. He barely says a word. The whole time his face is this, and he's looking off into the distance. He's got a cigarette. And he's so cool. He's so untouchable, right? And yet, if this is real life, and I'm like that, what it really means is I have no true actual intimacy, no true actual relationships. One of our core desires of every human being alive is to know and to be known. We were created for intimacy. We were created for relationship. That is where we thrive. And when I put those walls up, and I won't let anybody see the real me, and the real me includes a lot of strengths and a lot of great qualities, and the real me also includes weaknesses. The real me also includes fear. The real me includes imposter syndrome, right? That's the real me. Uh, and so when I put these walls up and I only show the Marlboro Man sort of facade, I'm not letting anyone in. Now, I don't have to let everyone in to that degree, but in particular, when we're talking about your wife, the most important relationship in your life and what should be the most intimate relationship in your life. That intimacy is created by you truly knowing her and her truly knowing you. And those walls have to come down for that to be possible. This idea that I've been reading about that made me think of this is this idea of the false self. And we all have it. Heck, I'm probably guilty of it when I'm doing videos for the married man. I want you to perceive me in a certain way right? So I try to be vulnerable. I try and show you guys that I'm not perfect and I don't have this dialed in. Uh, but we all have this false self, the way that we want to be perceived. And it becomes a problem when it, when it hampers or hinders true, re true relationship and true intimacy with these relationships that truly matter, namely your relationship with your wife. So being a warrior husband, truly being a warrior husband and having the strength to fight for your marriage and for your wife and that relationship means you apply that strength to fighting against the tendency of, of yourself to react in fear and close up and wall up and not let, not let anybody in. I've done it so many times and what's typical is that I will paint it as, well, I need to be strong for my wife. We're having such and such going on, so I need to show her strength. She needs that from me. What that really is is a, is a rationalization that I've created to feel noble when in reality I'm protecting myself. Maybe that resonates. Guys, don't fall prey to this false self, to putting this false self out there as a means of protection. Have the strength, have the courage to show your true self and to engage in true intimacy and closeness with your wife. I hope that resonates with you. Uh, before I sign off, 
This week on Wednesday was the debut of the Married Man podcast. You can find it everywhere, of course. I'm going to go through the whole spiel where you can find it on Spotify and Stitcher. I don't know why they always mention Stitcher, but it's on there. And, of course, Apple Podcasts. And what I would really, truly appreciate is if you took 30 seconds, pop open your iPhone right now, or maybe you're on it, go to the Apple uh, app, pull up the podcast, and just throw a review or rating on there. You mean the world to me. I'm trying to grow this thing and really want to be able to bring the message of the married man to more guys. So... Thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday.